Hi everyone. So we're all in a new normal looking for social distancing and activities that will keep us from interacting with large groups of people. I have been preparing for this my entire life. All right, just one quick look at the weather. Son of a you know, this is really starting to feel like that episode of The Twilight Zone with Burgess Meredith where all he wanted to do was sit around and read his books and then he suddenly finds himself the last man on earth with nothing but books around and his glasses break. While this may feel like a perfect time for astronomy, with things like working from home and school closures and the weather, you know, there can still be a lot of challenges out there. And also, let's face it, we are in a pretty aging hobby. Right? So a lot of our friends in this are actually at pretty high risk for having complications if they, if they get the virus. Plus, you and I are too. So let's talk about love of astronomy in the time of the coronavirus. If you have great weather right now, I hate you. But there's still some reasonable precautions you need to take uh, when you're out there using your equipment. Sharing eyepieces is a really easy way to transmit the disease. So if you are going to have a friend out there and you want to both use the same scope, bring an extra eyepiece. Make sure that it's really you know cleaned out uh, and has been you know stored in a Ziploc bag or something for a couple of days beforehand. Or even better, have them bring their own eyepiece and then you deal with the thumb screws so that they can put it in, you tighten it down, and then you're not actually physically touching your eye to something that someone else has as well. Don't forget that the focuser is also you know, a manual touch area. So you know, maybe just have one of you being responsible for adjusting the focus. Pay attention to your sleep schedule. It may not seem like much to add those extra two or three hours, but especially if you're doing that a couple of times a week and you're still having to wake up and work in the morning, even if you're not having to wake up for the commute as early, it will take a toll on you. So try to pay attention to that and don't go too far off the rails. Of course, a camera can be your best friend in this kind of situation. You know, go ahead and have that camera hooked up and maybe try doing some live stacking, right? You can sit there and do your live stacking session in your backyard. You know, if friends are there, you can all look at it in the computer monitor together. But if they're not, then maybe you just record that session and send it to them or post it to YouTube or something like that. If you want to get really fancy with it, you could even try live streaming your live stacking sessions. I'll put a link in the description and also in an info card up here uh, on the software that I use for doing both my recording, but it also allows for live streaming as well. Uh, so you can check it out and take a look at it. So let's say the weather's clouding you out or you can't travel to your usual location that you go to uh, for stargazing or for astrophotography. Here are five things that you can do to still kind of keep yourself in the hobby and maybe from going crazy when you're not able to get out there. Number one, look through your old images and see what you might have missed. If you're like me, you're probably a pack rat when it comes to the images that you've shot. I've got an external hard drive filled with pretty much every image I've ever taken, all of those, those kind of raw subs and things. And if I've never processed it, I still have those raw images, right? So I've been diving through for the last week here and looking at things from almost a year ago that I never really got around to messing with. Uh, and you'd be surprised, things that maybe at the time you thought, well, I didn't have great flats that night, or, oh, I never really, never really thought I got enough data to get what I wanted out of it. Well, it's sitting there. It's been sitting there for a year. Go and try it. You might be surprised at what you come up with. Here are a few that I came up with just looking through in the last week here. Here's this one of the Helix Nebula. One of the Sombrero Galaxy or this one of the Seagull Nebula, or as I have come to call it, the Sad Bunny Nebula. In some cases, I didn't have dark frames or maybe even flat frames for that imaging session, and it really didn't matter. It was still an enjoyable way for me to take get pictures that I've taken and still go through the steps to finish that image and get it out there and still be putting something out, out that it still feels like I'm connected to the hobby, even though for the foreseeable forever, I'm clouded out. Number two, you can fix your Astro Bin library that was catastrophically wiped out. 
Number three, you can go on cloudy nights and start a flame war claiming that, I don't know, film astrophotography is better than digital and use only Hubble images to back up your argument. Did you know that beyond the almighty astronomy picture of the day, NASA has a full gallery of images and video clips from their whole history that's just free for you to use and browse through. Five, maybe look into remote imaging services that'll let you take pictures in areas that you can't get to or use equipment that you don't have. You know, I recently did a video on just one of those services, itelescope.net, and you can check it out in the link here. And lastly, probably the best thing that you can do right now to help out is to socialize astronomy without being social. You know, everybody's social media feeds are filled with depressing and stressing and anxiety causing news right now. And most people are kind of getting sick of it or getting stuck with a bad case of cabin fever. Share your favorite pictures, share your favorite astronomical quotes, or share inspirational facts about the universe. Share your love of the night sky, which is going to be there whether we're socially distanced or not. Andromeda, Orion, and Jupiter may be just what someone needs to breathe a little easier, think about the big picture, or just simply smile for the first time in a while. Keep sharing of yourselves out there, and we'll get through this, separate but together. Clear skies. Thank you.